So I'm going to give you a entry and exit method. This video will tell you exactly how I take profit. It's been asked a lot. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do subscribe, hit the bell button, like and leave a comment. Now, I'm hoping this video bangs because it's going to give you the ingredients a recipe on how to kind of manage your investment portfolio. Now, on the screen, you can see here, there's like a website. This is my course content. I've obviously been doing this since, you know, 2017. This company has been around for a long time now. And this has a free course. This has all the paid courses, CPD accredited. And this is where I do the outlay of it in much more detail, showing you the trades and how to do it properly. We're going to go over it in the past tense in terms of how this little strategy, this little methodology works and anyone can do it. And it's all to do with the dominant indexes and I'm going to explain how to do it. Now, give you a bit of context. Polkadot, Moonin, wahey. However, a lot of people get caught out when stuff like this happens. They get FOMO, they start jumping in not thinking about what they've got in terms of value of proposition or Bitcoin or fiat. The first decision that you need to make, and this is vitally important, and I talk about it all the time on my Twitter, hashtag follow me please, thank you, um, is do you want to grow Bitcoin or do you want to grow USD? Now, if you're in crypto, in my opinion, you can grow both. And I'm gonna explain how you can grow both. But you need to make that one conscious decision now. If you are new to the space, it's either you're growing your Satoshis or you're growing your fiat, right? Basically simple. So how does it work? Bitcoin, overall market maker. Realistically, it's, a, it's the king, right? Whatever Bitcoin does, everything else will follow it in certain ways. Now, the USD price of every single altcoin is not a individual metric. It is a metric from Bitcoin Satoshis. It is a metric of the USD price of Bitcoin, the Satoshi values of your cryptocurrency at the time and then it's a, a, a shitty mathematical formula that goes towards that usd price which is why it confuses me when people use pound for example it's like what what are you on about so that doesn't mean anything if your btc pairs are pumping and your bitcoin's pumping at the same time it's going to make more money isn't it but you you always find the coloration that if the bitcoin dominance goes up i.e bitcoin is pumping all coins will bleed out, i.e. in Satoshi values. But you will be making USD value, but you'll be losing Bitcoin. So it kind of doesn't make any odds. So what do you need to do? You need to go to the dominance chart and you need to know this chart off the back of your hand. Now, this is what we've got right now. We've got high dominance. What high dominance indicates is a rally, a rally of Bitcoin showing you that stuff has happened in a period of time. This has happened here. What has happened in this period of time? We all know it's obvious. Bitcoin went from 10K to 20K. It went from 20K up to 30K. It went from 30K up to 35K and turn around. That's a big monster move. Now, this was the 10K retest and boom. On the advanced course that I mentioned before in terms of the website, I did a few trades and you can see those trades in this period here when it's going down. This going down period is called alt season, all right? And how do you demonstrate an alt season? It's very, very straightforward. Now, if I just basically color code this other way it's interesting to listen to this because i think people get confused i don't want to confuse people i want to make it nice and simple you need to basically look at the altcoin dominance pairs i.e altcoin slash btc what is the difference well the difference will be the higher this is the lower they will be now let's look at ethereum just to give you a pointer ethereum in, in usd prices looks amazing it's like oh, ethereum it's over a thousand dollars, but when you look at the Bitcoin price, it's fucking dog shit. Wait for it, wait for it. The fact that the BTC value was higher back in, let me just guess, I'm gonna guess it's September, October time. Yes, August, September time. The last altcoin rally was higher. So when we go back in time and we look at August regions, it's $400. But when you think about it, Bitcoin has pretty much tripled in price from that point, give or take. So that's why that metric comes in. This is how you grow your Bitcoin. You buy when altcoins, now listen to this, are low in this price parameter, i.e. the BTC price. 
When you zoom out, you will see why. Look how low these are. This is your Satoshi values in Ethereum at the time of now. It has hit a massive point and pinged off it, as you can see. Huge, huge level has pinged. It's a good, solid area, meaning Bitcoin dominance has dropped. So that is what the Bitcoin dominance chart does. When this goes down, your altcoin slash BTC, that Ethereum chart there, will be popping. What you'll see on the other side of it is a bit of a different kind of dynamic for this. It may well carry on going up because your Satoshi values are growing, meaning it's growing in value if Bitcoin stays high. If Bitcoin dumps so and Bitcoin's worth less, you may well find that you know your, your USD prices might not be worth as much. So that's important. Now let's talk about how to set this up. You've got to look at the trends, the higher time frames, not the four hour, not the daily realistically. You want to look at like the three day, the weekly sort of time. You want to look at the overall trend. I personally like the three day, the two day, and the weekly, right? In terms of this, because yeah, you can use the daily time frame. You can still see a trend is forming. It looks quite nice, but you want to try and remove as much noise as possible because what is going to happen here? You ready for it? are going to buy into altcoins when this is a, a high level, i.e. it's pretty much overexerted itself. It's pretty damn high. Even in like for me, I, I was buying altcoins. I, I was actually buying altcoins at this level, actually, to be fair, in and around this 67 level. But I was happy to do that because it was still low. Altcoins were bottoming out anyways then. But what happened was we had a mini little relief and then we had a massive push to the upside which was Bitcoin. It bled out a little bit, but one thing that has happened as well, the total two chart. This is the cryptocurrency dominance chart of the entire market, excluding Bitcoin, i.e. how much capital is in and going into altcoins. This has still been rising all year. There's still been a lot of interest in altcoins. So what the recipe is, you need this to go up. So the total two, so if you're on TradingView, this is TradingView, by the way, you basically go into the index on here, and you put in total two, right? This is the entire market cap, not including Bitcoin. So all the altcoins added together, it is this, right? So this needs to go up and the dominance of Bitcoin needs to go down. Simple as that. That is a recipe for an alt season. This is where I make my cryptocurrency earnings. I make what? Bitcoin, whatever. I want to whenever I want to by investing. It's simple as that. Now let's talk about profit. In terms of this, the recipe is, as I said before, when this is high, when Bitcoin is pumping, when all coins are bleeding out and you're starting to see all these BTC pairs on the floor, like literally, I'm not even joking, on the floor. I'm gonna, I'll show you some more examples because Ethereum's not the greatest. It, yeah, it is, but it's not. Look at ADA, as you can see. Uh, Polka dot, another example. It's look at that drop. Boom. Um, reserve rights. Let's have a little look at this one. Boom. Um, v chain, good example. Boom. The previous alt season, this is what happened. So imagine you having one Bitcoin in here. It grew by 400%. Obviously, bottom to top, and I was subjective. But if you had one Bitcoin, you've just grown yourself an extra 4.5 in profit. That's how you do it. It's simple as that. It's simple maths. It's a simple logic, but you need to understand the dangers of it. When you're an investor, you need to buy the top currencies, i.e. good research, good use cases, the, 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 the full beans, right? The full everything, right? Good, solid projects, which is why I invest in certain things. When you start seeing that this is high, you will know that the BTC dominance chart will represent the BTC pairs of your currencies that you're buying at low levels. You buy with whatever you can buy in USD and you can profit in Bitcoin. For me, I always profit in Bitcoin. And then how do we take talk about fiat value prices? Now, when you think about it, if you've taken profit, right? Simple as that in BTC, you want to take profit when it's high. The higher it is, the less Satoshis you are wasting essentially and losing. So for example, 35K Bitcoin, woohoo, you're gonna make obviously a good chunk of fiat and lose a lot less Satoshi values as per when it was 10K as an example. So that's my overall strategy. I buy altcoins when the Satoshi values of altcoins are low as hell when Bitcoin dominance is high, probability high. It could obviously go higher as I've already explained. It's a long-term game. You are looking to grow Bitcoin. 
you could easily grow 0.5 BTC into two or three Bitcoin very, very easily, finding good altcoins at bottom prices in the BTC pairings, take profit when, when, it starts to bottom out again. So for example, like this, started to bottom out. Now this is a weekly time frame. It's not like you got like a split second decision. Look at the trend, look at what's happening. You would have made a shit ton of Bitcoin in this period buying altcoins as it was dropping. As this entire move in course, the course of the year was just dropping. If you had altcoins and you're seeing your Satoshi values rise and rise and rise, take profit into Bitcoin. Because what would have happened? Well, Bitcoin became dominant again it meant that altcoins were bleeding out again. It meant that you would lose your Satoshi value straight away and Bitcoin grows at fiat value. Remember, one Satoshi is always one Satoshi. One Bitcoin is always one Bitcoin. You're never going to lose that in Bitcoin. So the key recipe is at the other side of that and you've held your Bitcoin and it's worth a lot more. That is when you start buying things in fiat. You start taking a little bit out treat yourself to and maybe a new house, maybe a new car, whatever it may be. That is how to do it. Now, I do not believe in the bollocks that people should always stay in crypto because the world isn't ready yet. It really isn't. My house here, I don't pay for everything in crypto. What do you think I use? Well, hello. It's one of those things. So you've got to remember the dynamic of these indice kind of indexes. If this, and I've repeated it a million times, is high, you need to move money into altcoins and then when it starts lowering itself, you will be making Bitcoin. You take profit in Bitcoin. Now, as I said before, you can buy in USD, still profit in Bitcoin. Doesn't matter, it's just a variable chart. As I say though, the charts always look chalk and cheese. Look at that, for example, versus look at that. This is because it was pumping. Now, let me just show you this, the bad side of it. If you are buying altcoins when dominance is high because Bitcoin is pumping and you're looking to grow Satoshis, it's the wrong time to do it. Basically, as simple as that, you've got, you're have got going to have serious problems. Why? Because if imagine putting one Bitcoin in here and it went all the way down to this level, you would have lost 64% of that one Bitcoin. You would literally have hardly anything left. Yeah, you may have grown your fiat value, but because Bitcoin is so dominant, it would have been much better just hold Bitcoin in that period of time. Simple as that. So let's make this video bang. Hope you enjoy it. Leave a like, leave a comment, all kinds of good stuff. But remember the strategy, high dominance, you're buying altcoins. Low dominance, you're taking profit into Bitcoin. If Bitcoin then goes high, you can then cash out into fiat if you so wish to, or repeat the cycle. Put a percentage of Bitcoin back when they're low again. Boom, 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 off you go. Compound. But it's from